Prophet Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 26 to 28 says, Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will bless them and multiply them and will set my Praise the Lord, children of Revelation. Wow, it is our wonderful time to be in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says that in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We are yet in the presence of the Lord. Gather your friends, tell them that it is time for the service. It is time for us to hear from the Lord. Wow. We are going to start with our opening prayer and we proceed with the service. Father Lord in heaven, we thank you for this day. The Bible says that your mercies are new every morning. We thank you for this wonderful new day, King of Glory. Today is Sunday, Father Lord Almighty. It is time for service. King of Glory, we welcome your presence. We welcome your precious Holy Spirit. We welcome the presence of the Father. We welcome the Spirit of the Father. Spirit of God, you are welcome. You are honored in this place. Today as we praise, as we worship, as we receive your word, we welcome you into our lives. We believe that those that are sick are going to be healed. We believe that you are feeding us with a lot of joy in the mighty and precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. Thank you very much, Jesus. Now, we are going to confess. We are going to confess and make our prophecies. Hallelujah. Are you ready? We are going to start with the prophecy of the year. Okay, one, two, three, we go. This is my year of rising up above all. Amen. And I confess that I am rising up above all. Now we are making the prophecy for the month. This is my month of rising up above with the Father. Woo! And the confession is, I am rising with the Father. May God bless you so much. Now let's get ready for the praise and worship. Put those hands together and we welcome the children of Revelation Squire in the name of Jesus. Be blessed.
Thank you very much, children of Revelation. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you for the wonderful praise and worship. You have led us into the presence of the Lord. May the Lord bless you so much for that. Now we are going to pray for a minute. Raise your hands and say, Father, we welcome your word. We welcome your healing giving word. We welcome your wisdom giving word. We welcome your joy giving word. We welcome your peace giving word. Send your word, Father Lord in heaven. We thank you for your word and we believe that you are raising us up above all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, Jesus. Now, children of Revelation, get your Bibles, get your books, get your pens, get your pencils. It is time for us to receive the word of God. Amen. Now, today's word is Jesus' relationship with the Father. Jesus' relationship with the Father. Now, we are going to look at two families here. First of all, we are going to look at Abraham's relationship with Isaac. Remember that Abraham was Isaac's father. And we are going to look at them and see their relationship. And then we go to Jesus' relationship with the father. Now someone is asking, who is Abraham? What do you know about Abraham? Abraham is said to be the father of all believers. Amen? Okay, now, we are going to find the story of Abraham in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1. Here, this is when Jesus, this is when God told Abraham that leave your father's house and your mother's house and go into the land where I will bless you. By then, by then Abraham was 75 years old and God told him, go into the land where I will bless you. So Abraham got his wife, Sarah, and they left and they went into another area where the Lord had told them to go. Abraham was obedient to the Father. Amen. Now, Abraham by then did not have children and Sarah had passed the age of giving birth. Abraham was 75, remember. And then God promised him one day God told him, go out of your house, and he told him to look in the sky. And Abraham told God, I am seeing stars. And God told him, you are going to have as many children as those stars. And he asked him, can you count them? And he said, no, I can't. Now, since then, we are the children of Abraham. And we are like those stars. We cannot be counted. Amen? Anyway, here... I'm focusing on Abraham. Now, after, when Abraham was 100 years, he gave birth. He gave birth to a baby boy, the boy that God had promised him. That boy was Isaac. So when Isaac was eight days, Abraham took him and he was circumcised. So Isaac grew up with his father, Abraham, and Isaac was very obedient to his father, Abraham. So one day God told Abraham, I want you to bring Isaac to me. Give me Isaac. And God and Abraham woke up in the morning and told Isaac, you know what, son? Let's go somewhere. Isaac was very obedient to his father. Guess what? Abraham was taking Isaac to be sacrificed. And then Isaac was obedient. And then when they reached, he was going to cut him guess what? God provided a lamb. God was testing Abraham. Now, here we are looking at the relationship of Isaac and Abraham. After some time, Abraham had to die. And because his son was obedient to him, his son became the successor. His son inherited the riches of his father. Abraham was very rich. God prospered him. He was very blessed because God had promised him that I'll make you rich, I'll make your name great, all that. Now, all these things that God promised Abraham, Isaac received them. Isaac received them because God told him, these things I'm promising you, they are for you, your children and the generations to come. So you see, Isaac inherited 
what God had promised his father. Amen. Isaac also gave birth. Amen. Now, Isaac was the child of Abraham. Shortly, what we can learn into this story is the relationship of the father and the son. Isaac was the son of Abraham. Isaac was obedient to his father. Are you obedient to your father? Eh? Are you obedient to your father? Anyway, we were just having a brief story about Abraham and Isaac. So that was Abraham and Isaac, the relationship of the father and the son. Now let's look at the relationship of Jesus with his father. Amen. All right, we are going to go into scripture and see who is Jesus. <laughs> and see who is Jesus to the father. Now some people are asking, hmm, who is Jesus' father? All right, we are going to open in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Get your Bibles, children of Revelation. Let's read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So the son of God is Jesus. God is the father of Jesus. Um, we all know that we are in the season of celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are preparing ourselves to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you should be expectant in this season. Jesus is going to be born. But I wanted to show you that God is the father of Jesus. Now we are going to go into the book of Matthew. We are going to read in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. We are now going to look into this relationship of Jesus with his father. Okay. Get your Bibles and reopen in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. All right. It says, okay, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, allowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our dates as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. All right. Here, Jesus was teaching the disciples. And the disciples told him, Jesus, Master, how should we pray? And Jesus told them, you should say, Our Father in heaven. So, Jesus always referred to his Father in heaven. Remember, we are looking at Jesus' relationship with the Father. Jesus always referred to to his father in heaven. Even when he was teaching the disciples how to pray, he said, say that our father in heaven. Amen. What do we learn from this scripture? That he always referred to his father. Whatever he wanted, he asked of the father. Amen. Do you also ask from your father? Do you also refer from your father? He always followed that followed the lead of his father. Something else we should know about Jesus. Jesus' life was from the Father. Jesus' life was from the Father. We are going to read in the book of John chapter 5, verse 26. John chapter 5, verse 26. Are you ready, children of Revelation? Alright. The Bible says, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. So according to the scripture, the scripture has told us that for as the Father has had life in himself, so he granted this life to the Son. So the life that Jesus had was from the Father. Amen? 
That's why Jesus did not fall sick. He is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible that one day Jesus went to the hospital. Because the life Jesus had was from the Father. Amen? The Father granted life to Jesus. Amen? All right. We are also going to look at something new. Jesus' words were from the Father. Jesus' words were from the Father. We are going to read in the book of John chapter 14, verse 10. John chapter 14, verse 10. Are you ready, children of Revelation? We are looking at Jesus' relationship with the Father. Okay, John chapter 14, verse 10. Let's read there. It says, Don't you believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say, the Father, living in me who is doing his work. All right. Okay, now I was saying that Jesus' words were from the Father. Now Jesus was telling the disciples that the words I speak are from the Father. Amen? What does the Father speak? The Father speaks life. The Father speaks salvation. The Father speaks prosperity. Amen? Now some of you are already worried about what you are going to put on on Christmas, what you are going to eat. <laughs> Amen? Now Jesus was telling us that the words he spoke were from the Father. We all know Jesus' We all know Jesus' words, Jesus' teaching. Jesus always said in his teaching that do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about what to put on. Do not worry about what to eat. Jesus told us not to worry about what we shall put on on Christmas or what we shall put. He got these words from the Father. The words you speak, are they from the Father? What do you speak with your fellow friends? Hmm? Do you always say, Mommy, I'm sick. Mommy, I feel headache. No, the father does not speak like that. The father said that by his stripes we are healed. Jesus said those words. He got them from the father. Do you speak like Jesus? Because Jesus got his words from the father. Wow, thank you so much, Jesus. Okay, lastly, this is what we should know about Jesus. Jesus' works were from the father. Jesus' works were from the Father. We are going to read in the book of John chapter 5, verse 17. Get hold of your Bibles. We are going to read in the book of John chapter 5, verse 17. Okay, are you ready? The Bible says, Jesus said to them, My Father is always at His work. To this very day and I too am working. Let me read it again. Jesus said to them, my father is always at his work to this very day and I too am working. So Jesus was telling the disciples that until now, until now, my father is working, so am I. So Jesus' works were from the Father. What did Jesus do? Jesus walked on water. What did Jesus do? Jesus changed water into wine. What did Jesus do? Jesus raised the dead. What did Jesus do? Jesus healed the sick. Until now, the Father is still working. And even today, Jesus is still working. So when you wake up in the morning when you are sick, what you should put in your mind is that until now, the Father is still working. And the Son, Jesus Christ, is also still working. Amen. So, in all we have learned today, we have learned that Jesus' relationship and the Father was for our rising. It was for our rising. So, in other words, Jesus' relationship and the Father is rising us. Jesus used to speak like the Father. Jesus used to work like the Father. The most exciting thing is that even up to now, Jesus and the Father, they are still working. So you should be obedient to your Father. 
Hmm? Your father wakes up in the morning, your father goes to work. Even you, you should do the same thing. Wake up in the morning, get some work to do at home. Hmm? Be like your father. Be obedient, be obedient to your father. Like Jesus was to his father. He always spoke of the father. He always referred us to the father. So when you wake up in the morning, say, Our father who is in heaven. When you do not have what to eat, the Bible says, the father said that, Give us this day our daily bread. Huh? When your brother, your friend has wronged you, don't abuse them. Don't fight with them. The father told us to forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen? So that is what we have learned today. We have learned about Jesus' relationship with the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, children of Revelation, thank you so much for watching. I believe that you have learned a lot out of the Word of God. And from today, let the relationship of the Father and the Son work in you. Thank you so very much. Okay, we are going to pray. Father Lord in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the word we have learned. We have learned about the relationship of Jesus with his father. We have also learned about Abraham and his son Isaac. Father Lord in heaven, we have learned that the words you spoke, the words you spoke, King of glory, those are the same words Jesus spoke. We have learned that the works you did, those are the same works that Jesus did. Father, today we choose to be like Jesus. We choose to be like Jesus and his Father. And we believe that our lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, Jesus. Now, children of Revelation, we are going to confess. We are going to confess. We are closing our service and we believe the Lord has blessed us so much. So we are confessing surely. Are you ready, children of Revelation? Truth through we go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I am rising up above all forever. I am rising up above all forever. I am rising up above all. Amen. Now do not forget to confess that I am hidden in Christ and Christ is hidden in God. Two, three, we go. I am hidden in Christ and Christ is hidden in God. Wow, thank you so much for watching. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.